I'm so excited about this book, The Last Stand. It's by Antoine Eddy and it's illustrated by Jarrett and Jerome Pumphrey. And it is published by Alfred A. Knopf, New York. And as I understand it, um, you know, there used to be hundreds of thousands of farms owned by um, African Americans, you know, uh, historically. And now that number is like such a small fraction, like like maybe single digit percentage of, of that original number. Um, and, you know, I don't know the exact reason why, um, you know, there's, there's no, like what happened to their farms. Um, it could be part of the Northern migration to avoid, um, to find a better life with that might perhaps have less racism that they left. It's kind of more of a, um, historic sharecropping situation. Um, it could just be, um, farms consolidating, um, with industrialization and, small family farms being it's just the difficulty competing against industrial industrialized commercial farms um i don't know exactly what the reason is but i do know that this book and on eddie's um manuscript um it was it went to a multi uh publishing house auction like i believe the number was eight or nine publishers um you know bid on this it, i mean it was like quite a high number. Um, so anyway, it, it, this is the story about the last stand, support black farmers. So in this community, um, I think they are the last, the last farm, last farm standing. And so I don't know if this is like a personal story of his um, family history or just something that he was aware of. But like, look, you can see that at the farmer's market, you know, they've all, all the other ones have closed. And so Earl's is the last one left. Pumpkins, peppers, plums, and eggs. So Papa had the last stand. It wasn't always this way. A year ago, there were two. A year before, five. So it's, yeah, so I don't even know if it's a recent thing that these farms were, but it sounds like it is. Like I, I'm just like not, I'm just like not that um, knowledgeable about what happened to all the farmers. And so... Papa is, you know, it looks like it's, it could be his grandfather. And, you know, and also just like running a farm is like, you know, extremely hard work. I remember like I was reading about the American Revolution and, um, you know, the American revolutionaries were all farmers and, um, like when they fought the British, the townspeople versus the farmers, like the farmers were so hardy, like they could be up all night and then go hike miles and miles to the battlefield and then fight, you know, that whole bloody battle. Um, and like stamina wise, they were totally fine because farming is just, you know, a 24 seven, seven day a week, you know, commitment whereas other professions they you know they don't have that kind of physical stamina so it also is a you know a, a, a very you know physically um, demanding job and so here he is um, working on the farm helping his papa and his granny and you know And I think it's sort of like at the cusp where they don't know if they can keep doing this because maybe the grandfather is getting old or maybe he's like not completely healthy. So the grandson's taking over, but he has some ideas. And, you know, and it's also just like if he closes, like like all the people who rely on him, like where are they going to get? you know, their produce. And it looks like he figured out how to keep the farm stand open. And it was something also to help his papa. 
Oh, so here in this book, he's taken heartbreak and turned it into a story about a boy and his grandfather who has the last stand on the farmer's market in a community that can't afford to lose it. And so black farmers were 14% of farmers in America a century ago, and now the number's less than 2%. Yeah, this I've, I've, this is what I, I, I've, I, you know, I've heard, but I, I had the incorrect statistics. And yeah, there were, there, you know, it was a deliberate, um, uh, all kinds of structural racist forces were at work um, to get this result of getting the black farmers um, to stop farming. So it is, he's telling the story in a pretty gentle way, but um, you know, there's a backstory too that's historical that maybe um, might spark interest in readers to actually learn more and you know and that will be a kind of history that um will show racism structural racism um maybe cent centuries of that and uh yeah that's the kind of that's the kind of history that some states don't want told for example but actually that's the kind of history that i find the most interesting so yeah i think this is quite a significant book and I could see why um, every publishing house on the planet would be fighting for it um, and so please read it please support black farmers please support independent farmers at your local farmers market if you have one um, thank you so much to the publisher who sent it to me Alfred A. Knopf I don't, I might even say that right. Um, and thank you for watching.